over the next few days. Little ones, little ones. <laughs> Nibbles, I think they're called. Um, hello, everybody. Oh, it was brassic this morning, wasn't it? Really, really cold. Just how cold? Well, temperatures got down to minus 10. But uh, it was quite widespread, the cold and frosty weather. But look at this. What a difference a day makes because 24 hours on tomorrow morning, it's all changed. We see a southerly wind, quite a lot of cloud. And so the temperatures are on the rise. That could cause some problems, though, however, as we head towards Christmas. More on that in just a moment. But the reason why we've got this change is this area of low pressure out in the Atlantic. It's driving this southerly wind, this milder air across us. Quite a lot of cloud and already we're seeing some outbreaks of rain. So Northern Ireland, western fringes of Scotland, Northern England and Wales, that's where the wetter weather and the early morning beautiful sunshine that we had unfortunately is being eroded now as the cloud starts to spill in from the west. So in terms of the feel of the weather, it's still going to be quite cold this afternoon after that bitter start. So only around two to six degrees, but already you can start to see the signs of something a little milder out to the west. So through the night tonight, we see that cloud and that rain pushing north. And it bumps into that colder air. Icy stretches could be an issue across northeast Scotland. A lot of cloud around, so certainly a milder start to tomorrow morning. Double digits potentially out through Northern Ireland and into Cornwall. So we've still got that low pressure sitting in the Atlantic, spilling its weather fronts across us. And that means that it'll be fairly erratic during the day on Thursday. Quite a lot of clouds, some light patchy rain for England and Wales. Northern Ireland and Scotland, you're going to see the heaviest of the rain here. And you're still seeing that cold air in the far northeast here, around three or four degrees where it stays dry. But further west, look at this. What a difference. We're looking at double figures and that's going to feel really quite mild in comparison to the last couple of days. Now, as we go into Friday, Christmas Eve, a lot of cloud around, quiet start if you're out on the roads visiting friends and family. There will be some outbreaks of rain pushing into the southwest a little later on. We're still in that milder air here, 10 or 11 degrees, but the cold air never really moves across Scotland and this could be an issue. It's the battle of the air mass for Christmas Day as the mild air tries desperately hard to push the cold air out of the way. And where those two air masses meet, that's the troublemaker. That's the area that could see potentially a little bit of snow through Northern Ireland and Northern England. Not too significant, hopefully, but out to the west, we're going to see some rain, I'm afraid. It could be a wet Christmas day for you. The best of the colder but brighter weather is certainly across the far north of Scotland. That's it. That's what you're going to get for Christmas. Thank, Thank you. For